Hi, I'm Chris Berman. Ahead on ESPN, welcome to Week 6 Action in the National Football League. You might think you know who the big teams are this year, but there are a few October surprises out there to watch out for. Cincinnati, Cleveland, now! Four. And there she is, the ESPN blimp flying high overhead. Hello folks, I'm Dan Stevens. Welcome to Brown Stadium. At my side, my cohort, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, our game features one of the best wideouts in the game. Unquestionably, Dan. Chad Johnson, he's a magnificent talent. He's clearly one of the very top receivers in the National Football League. He's got an excellent mind for football, Dan, and his determination to make the most of every down means that you very rarely see him make a bad play. Okay, we'll keep our eye on him as the game progresses. But first, the coin toss. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Dawson boots the opening kickoff. Roberts downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Bengals offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 20-yard line. Warwick goes in motion. Johnson chews up nine yards, and that brings up second down. Boy, they get some good yardage out of this one, Dan. And they do it a number of good ways. Good line blocking, good downfield blocking, and a nifty run to boot. Nice play. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play. And now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Johnson gets the call again. And his left stopped at the 34. That will bring up first down. Rudy Johnson is built like a perfect back should be. 5'10", 220. This running back comes with all the fixings. He can deke out defenders, spin out tackles, and even run some over. First down, 10 yards to go. Johnson catches it in the flat and tries to get free. Chase down at the 44. First down. First down. First down. Bang, bang, bang. Rudy Johnson shows how to play ball in the NFL. He makes the catch and then works for more yards. That's the kind of player you get the ball to. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. Heck, that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. Palmer unloads this one to the left, and the reception's made at the 36. 10. He's in for the touchdown. Oh, baby. Too strong. Too strong for you. Check it out. Carson Palmer gets this one past the secondary quite easily. I, I think the safeties were out of position on that one, Dan. Now that kind of accuracy is hard to cover, Dan. He knew where he wanted the ball to go, and that's where it went. Peter, he gets the touchdown, and there is no better way to cap off a play than like that. Yeah, nothing better than points, Dano. Number, Number 17, 17 to, to attempt, attempt the extra, extra point. point. Kyle Richardson holding. 
Here's the extra point, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Graham booms a beauty here. Morgan decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 18. Quincy Morgan took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Browns' offense will start this drive at their own 18-yard line. Davis hauls it in right side and gets past the markers for a first down. Andre Davis is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. Great job fighting for that first down. He didn't waste any time. Well, just because the pass is short of the markers doesn't mean he can't run it the rest of the way. He's a true competitor. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. Green gets the call on first down and rambles for about five. Second down, three wideouts in the game. The green gains five on the play, and that brings up third down. William Green played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Green will get the carry on third down and gets well past the markers for a first. Oh, I love watching great plays like this again. It's great the first time around, but it's really sweet on the replay. Oh, I just can't get enough of this action. What a tremendous display of athleticism. Green gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. Second down, seven yards to go. Green takes the hand off and runs into traffic. Tackled hard at the 49. Nate Webster with the tackle. Come on, you can do it. Powered up, keep it. Powered up. Single back, single back. Morgan hauls in the pass and they get the first on third and long. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Quincy Morgan has a small crowd of defenders working him and yet still makes the catch. There's the catch, and there were three guys around it. They say bad things come in threes, but that didn't seem like that was bad at all. Maybe mildly annoying, but definitely not bad. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. Garcia just rifles this one, and it's intercepted. Breaks free, pushed out at the 20. Yeah. Justin Smith picked up a rare interception for the line back there. It's nice to see those big old mitts come down with an INT. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that.
The Bengals had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at the 20-yard line. Warwick goes in motion. Kelly catches it in the flat and is at the 15. Knocked out of bounds at the 11. Chris Crocker pushed his man off the field with a great defensive effort back there. They got a few yards, but not the first. Peter, they gave up a bundle and allow a second and short situation. Yep, the offense holds all the cards now. Watch the run, watch the run! Second and one. Watch the run, watch the run! Watch the run, watch the run! Johnson has his number called on second down and gets well past the markers for a first. Rudy Johnson was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him. Without those blockers, he would have been toast. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Kelly goes in motion. Williams tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Roosevelt Williams got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and I'm shut it down. Up, Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, goal to go. Palmer goes ahead to the right sideline and it's intercepted. Kelly tackles him for a touchback. Robert Griffith knows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Browns were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. This one will fall incomplete. You ain't getting nothing past me. Keep your eyes on the pass. Keep your eyes on the pass. Garcia fires this one over the middle and it's bobbled and dropped incomplete. Kellen Winslow Jr. muffed an almost guaranteed catch there. And as a receiver, you have to carry your weight and make the play. They don't come much more catchable than that one. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Third down, one man back. Webster sacks him back at the 17. Fourth down coming up. Webster comes in untouched on this play and just wallops the quarterback. Hey, where was the O-line, Dan? Did, did they just give up? Oh, that quarterback's going to be pointing fingers on that one. Peter forced the loss of yardage on third, and now they face a fourth and long. How, how do you rate that defensive performance? Uh, how about A+, plus? two thumbs up, five stars. It's all good, baby. Number three gets the snap and punts it away. Warwick fields it at the 40. The 45. The 40. Peter Warwick has a nice return coming up here off this punt. Watch. It's impressive the way he can make the right choices to keep the run back going. You can't coach that. The Bengals stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at the 40-yard line. Johnson makes the catch out to the left, and he's just barely past the markers for a first. Chad Johnson faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. 
Oh, nice catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down, two wideouts on the field. Sean Thompson targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Washington goes in motion. Johnson catches it over the middle and that will be a gain of three yards. Chad Johnson nabbed the football away from three defenders in his area. That's got to feel good. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, then. Big play coming up. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. Palmer gets all of his arm into this pass, and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Chris Crocker managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. Has it sailed just left of the upright? Shane Graham muffs a kick here that's not a shorty, but isn't that long either. Boy, that has got to rattle him. Ah, oh, poor guy. I think what he really needs is a big hug. Yeah, maybe a new foot. <laughs> if he's not careful, a new jersey. The Browns, offense has taken the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their 34-yard line. Garcia rifles it out left side and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Ineligible receiver, receiver. Number, number 63, 63 offense. offense. Alvin Garland got hit by the ball. He wasn't expecting it, didn't mean to, but unfortunately he was an ineligible receiver and that's a penalty. Double tight, win! First and 15. Chews up nine yards, and that brings up second down. William Green sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. A good gain, and it will be second down. I like that play, Dan. Nice call for the situation. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Davis goes in motion. Green gets his seventh game and takes it upfield. Pop hard at the 41. and they will be just shy of the markers. Fourth down. Rodgers Beckett brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. The defense's back was against the wall, and they rose to the challenge, Peter. Yeah, Dan, that's great D. They had to make a stand here, and they stood together. It will be fourth down. Number three takes the long snap and punts it away. Stopped at the 23. Peter Warwick didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Bengals have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 23-yard line. Warwick goes in motion. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Going nowhere. We're going in. Second and ten. Ball rolling. Down, Larry. Larry. 
Switch. Not good. Back 79. Not good. Switch. Back 79. Palmer rifles this one far over the middle, and it's incomplete. Warwick Holdman completely breaks up the pass. You know, he owned that zone so clearly, yeah, I bet he comes in on his days off to repair the turf. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Warwick grabs the bullet and tries to get free. 40, 35, 25, finally stopped at the 22. First down. Peter Warwick has hands to make the catch, but he's also got legs. Watch. There's the grab. And now the run. It's all about desire, baby. How bad do you want it? That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Bengals are out in front, seven to nothing. First down and four wideouts in the game. Johnson goes in motion. Palmer lobs this one over the middle, and the catch is made at the 11. Brought down hard at the seven. It'll be first and goal. Kelly Washington has a small crowd of defenders working him and yet still makes the catch. There's the catch, and there were three guys around him. They say bad things come in threes, but that didn't seem like that was bad at all. Maybe mildly annoying, but definitely not bad. Johnson picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Okay, what's the plan? Okay. Let's go. All right, baby, we need a big Second shot. Go line, go line. All fine. Single back. Single hey. back. Hey, hey, say it. Hey, you might find. Hey, you I got an A. Palmer ropes the spot in the end zone, and it's intercepted. Brought down at the three. Anthony Henry knows he doesn't have a shot at it unless he jumps for it. And man, he timed it perfectly. Could give his receivers a few tips about mid-air receptions. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Browns are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own three-yard line. Green gets the toss and runs into traffic. Tackled at the six. Okay, fellas, we went over this all week in practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, okay. we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, okay fellas? They're going air. They're going air. Second and seven. Ball over the six yard line. Larry, Larry, go! Take a bat, take a bat. Green gets the call again and maybe picks up one on the play. William Green used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Larry, Larry, Larry. 
Smith tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. That will bring up fourth down. Justin Smith not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. They stand tall and force a loss of yardage there. That's going to bring up a difficult fourth and long. Number three lines up in his own end zone for the punt. Number three gets the snap and punts it away. The 45. Drag down at the 35. Peter Warwick did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Bengals had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at the 35-yard line. Washington goes in motion. Warwick catches the bullet out left and gets past the markers for a first down. Well, check it out. He's now up over a thousand yards for the season. Palmer zips it to the left sideline and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 21. And this is a nice interception. Check his position out to make the grab. Got it. That's their third interception of the game. And Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Browns haven't got much out of their offense recently. And we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 21-yard line. the fastball over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. Face, Face mask, mask, number 34. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Kevin Kesevarn clearly tugs on the face mask here. You just can't do that and get away with it. Check it out. Yep, there's the flag. Definite face mask. That's a personal foul. Watch the pass! Watch the pass! Ball of the Browns, 50 yards. Down! Lee! Lee! Bingo back! Bingo back! <laughs> Garcia throws a bullet here. And it's caught at the 32. Finally dropped at the 28. That will bring up first down. Jeff Garcia throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Morgan goes in motion. Chews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Garcia throws a bullet to the flat, and it's tipped incomplete. Ryan Simmons came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play.
Let's go. Fourth down and less than a yard. Number three. Dawson kicks it from 35 yards and it's good. Bill Dawson puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. There's the signal, and we're ready. Dawson kicks it off. Watson fields it all the way back to the three. Brought down at the 23. Either interesting order to the division, isn't there? Oh, you bet. Kenny Watson got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Bengals have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Palmer throws a beauty to the right side, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Chad Johnson was really getting crowded out there with three defenders, but he still made the catch. Another completion, and he's definitely shaping up to be a major factor in this game. It's only the second quarter still, but if he can keep it up, he could have a typically impressive day. No good, incomplete. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Warwick goes in motion. Palmer zings it to the right side, and it's caught at the 49. 35, locked down hard at the 29. It will be first down. Well, those are some impressive numbers. Look at those receiving yards. Johnson will get the carry on first down and heads left. Stop at the 24. Number 51 with the tackle. Second and five. Leopard, Leopard, Leopard. Going left. Going left. Johnson picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Rudy Johnson played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes for him. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Third down with a split backfield. Planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But the only thing that's going to grow there is the D's morale. That's his second tackle so far. Fourth down, three yards to go. Graham kicks from 39 yards out, and this one is up and in. Shane Graham knocks through a good size kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. Number seven. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Graham rockets this one deep. Davis decides to take it out of the end zone. Jukes! Tackled at the 23. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turn the ball over leaps out at me, and you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL.
Andre Davis got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Browns offense comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before halftime. They'll start at their own 23-yard line. Green carries it past scrimmage and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. I thought that he would have been the loser in that matchup, Peter, but somehow he made the tackle. It's real hard to bring down someone that much stronger than you, but he had the perfect angle to make the play. Green loses two, and that brings up third down. Dwayne Clemens targeted the ball carrier early, didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Garcia puts his arm in this one and it's complete at the 44. Tackled and the clock will continue to run. First down. First down from the shotgun. Garcia, saw what it had to put you there. Hyden goes in motion. Hyden didn't hold in and it falls incomplete. Jeff Garcia has been searching for a rhythm out there and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he's struggled to get 94 yards and no touchdowns. will continue to run. Third down, one man back. Beckett makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Rogers Beckett came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. The defense prevents them from closing the gap and forces the nothing incompletion. Crazy. Nothing doing on that play, Peter. Well, they were just trying to get some yards out of it, not necessarily the first. And now they face a fourth down. Number three lines up for the punt. Number three gets the ball and punts it away. Warwick yields the punt at the 22. No one in front of him. Peter Warwick takes advantage of a real misstep by the kicking team. Running a lackluster punt all the way back for a touchdown. That is just incredible. That touchdown is going to establish some distance between them, Peter. That's a big score. Number 17 to attempt the extra point. Kyle Richardson holding. Here's the point after, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Great. Boom's a beauty here. Davis decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 25. Andre Davis took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Browns' offense has to score here. This drive will start at their own 25-yard line. The clock continues to run. 
Justin Smith gets the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push him back, way back. Great defensive play. That'll be his first sack of the game. Garcia throws a heave, and it's complete at the 22. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Jeff Garcia threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. That's another pass that went pretty much down the middle. He hasn't been working the sides too much. Well, he's obviously very confident to be throwing into where all the traffic is. He's daring the D to stop him. Third down and four wideouts in the game. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Andre Davis had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Ball. Number three lines up to punt after the three and out. Number three takes the snap and punts it away. Warwick takes it at the 42. Back down at the 50. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Bengals enjoying the lead 17 to 3. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, team. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Bengals are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Chad Johnson came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 56-yard touchdown for the Bengals. The Bengals get the first points of the game and go up by seven. The Browns on defense, ball at the 37-yard line. Justin Smith is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Bengals, after getting an interception, Bengals up by seven. Robert Griffith was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Bengals ended the first quarter. Peter Warwick emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. Bengals winning seven to nothing. Warwick Holtman shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Brown still in the second quarter. Jeff Garcia would find his target on this one. That's it up to field goal to top all field goals. Unbelievable. The Bengals trying to answer back. Bengals leading by four. Chad Johnson ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. Browns late in the second quarter. Peter Warwick would come up with a huge play on special teams as he'd feel the punt and bring it back the other way. Touchdown for the Bengals. And that's where we'll leave this one. Browns are down at the half, 17 to three. Time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Chad Johnson has played like a man possessed. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Browns get the ball first this half, and they could use a score right out of the gates to get back into this one. They currently trail 17 to three. Let's get down to the field and the action. Morgan fields the second half kickoff at the one. Stop at the 21. Let's go down to Susie Culver, who has an update for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. Head coach Marvin Lewis took a moment to speak with me at halftime, and he said, we've just played hard, and good things happen for us. The punt return for a touchdown was huge. We just have to keep executing and playing hard in the second half, and I like our chances. We'll see how they do in this half. Back to you. Green takes the 
makes his 16th carry of the game and chews up about four on the play. Second down with the tight end right. Ball over on 25 yards. Loose, loose, loose. Single back, single back. Check Case of Arn tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Kevin Case of Arn couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Garcia throws a heat to the right sideline and it's caught just barely past the markers for a first. Dennis Northcutt was getting double coverage there, but it wasn't enough to stop him from making the catch. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, you gotta know where you are on the field at all times. You knew where you needed to get, and he got it. O'Neal tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Jeff Garcia has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 107 yards and one interception. Second down, tight end to the left. Rip, 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 rip. 32 yards. Garcia throws a bullet to the flat, and it's caught at the 33, forced out at the 37. And if we can back up a moment, that was a great play breaking up that pass attempt. And plays like that show why Delta O'Neal was a first-round pick out of Cal back in 2000. He is just so athletic down there. In fact, he tied an NFL record a few years back by picking off four passes in one game. Morgan didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Quincy Morgan put himself in the right place back there, coming across the middle, but the catch was elusive, no dice. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. When you don't convert, it really hurts. Number three takes the long snap and punts it away. Warwick fields the ball at the 24. Tackled at the 33. Peter Warwick racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Bengals come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their 33-yard line. Chobel goes in motion. Johnson will take the handoff and Foley gets back to the line of scrimmage. Two. Gerard Warren was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. <laughs> Intercepted. No one in front of him. John Jones picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. Now 
throw the point after and the extra point is good. good. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Dawson booms a beauty here. Watson downs this in the end zone for a touchback. What's the pass? What's the pass? Hey, hey, hey! Single back! Single back! Palmer rifles it out left side and the ball is caught at the 27. Eventually tackled at the 34. That will bring up first down. Peter Warwick made the catch back there, but then worked for a few extra yards on top of that. Great effort. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been incompletion. Yeah, he's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. First down, three wideouts in the game. Johnson goes in motion. <laughs> Kelly catches the heater left side <laughs> and the 35. Finally stopped at the 26. It will be first down. Reggie Kelly shows why he's such a valuable guy to have downfield. He makes the catch, but then cuts loose for plenty more. You can't coach that. A nice run after making the grab, and that's a big plus coming from your tight end. Especially for him. He's not known for making those big gallops like that. Brown gets the sack at the 27. Brown gets a sack in the backfield. The quarterback had nowhere to go on this one. Let's watch. Yep, the D shut the offense down on that play. They couldn't do anything. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. It's intercepted. One man to beat. Tackled at the 45. Chris Crocker has a monster play for the D. He picks off the ball here and then takes it downfield for a huge game. Man, you cannot coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Browns' offense takes the field, and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as they start at the 45-yard line. This one will fall incomplete. Delta O'Neill was shadowing very closely, close enough that the pass was incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. And at the end of that play, Peter, it goes to show you what leverage yeah, and good positioning can do when it comes to making the tackle. Yeah, and you know, Dan, that's especially important when you're outmatched on strength. That's a good play there. Number three takes the snap and kicks what will be a short one. Warwick fair catches it at the 16.
The Bengals offense takes the field and they will start out at their own 17 yard line. Palmer unloads this one to the left and it's tipped. Incomplete. Roosevelt Williams came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That's his third batted ball. And he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. Ooh, look at all those INTs. They can't sit well with the head coach. Washington goes in motion. Warwick catches this one, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Peter Warwick has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. First down, two wide outs on the field. Thompson tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Rudy Johnson has been searching for a rhythm out there, Dan, and he's coming up short. It seems like his timing is way off. He's working hard, but only has 25 yards on 11 carries. as well past the markers for a first down Chad Johnson has a small crowd of defenders working him and yet still makes the catch there's the catch and there were three guys around him they say bad things come in threes but that didn't seem like that was bad at all maybe mildly annoying but definitely not bad that's another medium range catch for him he's really found his niche in there yeah and unless he starts getting shut down there's no reason for him to move out of it palmer zings it to the right side and the ball's caught at the 29 hunted down at the 26 it will be first down Carson Palmer gets it past the defender and into the arms of his receiver. That's a great play. Check it out. Ooh, nice, accurate throw. Another short pass and another completion. He's really got the short passing game working today. Just nickel and diming him. Oh, look there. 150-plus receiving yards. He's been making plays all game long. Johnson carries it for the top time and passes the line. Right down at the 25. Rudy Johnson got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Warwick goes in motion. This is the series here, baby. We gotta stop it. They go back. They go back. Be free. Be free. Now. Check them. Check them. Green 15. Green 15. <laughs> Kelly catches it in the flat and that's not enough. He's short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Reggie Kelly got out of bounds after getting some yardage, but you can tell that it wasn't as much as he wanted. No room on that play, and they'll face a fourth down. Graham kicks from 37 yards out and puts it straight through the uprights and good. Kyle Richardson handles this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. Number seven. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Graham rockets this one deep. 
Morgan decides to take it out of the end zone. Dragged down at the 18. Quincy Morgan took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Browns will start this first play of the drive at their own 18-yard line. Green picks up about two, and that brings up second down. William Green used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. He's not made much headway up the middle, although it's not for lack of trying, and that's for sure. They can't get effective blocking there. You got to go elsewhere. Second down with three receivers to the left. Northcott goes in motion. Green gets the ball again and heads out right. Tackled at the 22. John Thornton with the tackle. Come on, Browns, let's go. We need a first down. Somebody's back and getting started. Great trick. Great trick. High back. High back. Two, two, two. Right here. Garcia zips it to the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Torrey James managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Your number three lines up for the punt. Peter Ward to make the return. return. Number three gets the ball and punts it away. Warren catches it at the 37. Locked down at the 40. Peter Warwick got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Bengals get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their 40-yard line. Washington goes in motion. Palmer just leaves this one, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Carson Palmer launches this one perfectly, and the D was nowhere to be found. You got that right. Missed coverage all around. That's right, Dan. My six-year-old could have covered that pass better. Another completion, and that will be five in a row. Nice little streak. Look at the yards after the catch. That's a tight end that can rumble. Crocker tips it away on the coverage incomplete. Chris Crocker got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Johnson loses two, and that will bring up third down. Robert Griffith not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got six tackles. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Bengals enjoying the lead 20 to 10. Third down, empty backfield. One more quarter, D. One more. Johnson makes the catch on the right sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Chad Johnson does a great job here battling three defenders. It's definitely worth a second look. Let's watch. And he still comes up with the ball. Wow, you can't coach that. We've been saying his name a lot today, and with good reason. He has not slacked off at all. And he's finishing really strong, too. 
Hey, I like those stats. Great receiving. Johnson will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. Bernard Lang not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Johnson gets the call on second down and ends up losing about three. Morpheus Roy was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Good defense that's forced two losses in a row. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Warwick goes in motion. Palmer throws a heater right sideline and it's intercepted. One man to beat. Stopped at the 48. Sean Jones made a huge play there, not only picking off the pass, but moving the ball forward afterwards. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. The Browns' offense takes the field, and they are already halfway there. They'll start at the 48-yard line. Green has his number called on first down and chews up about four on the play. William Green is bullying it up the middle with moderate success. I think he needs to vary it up a little bit to keep the D off guard. Up to now, he's accumulated 50 yards on 19 carries. Bro, bro, bro. Second and five. Richter, Richter. Ball, 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 ball. Green picks up about two, and that brings up third down. Third down, two tight ends in the game. Intercepted! Bang down at the 36. Webster does a fantastic job breaking down the play and knowing where to be to intercept the pass. Having help in the zone really paid off for him. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Bengals were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their 36-yard line. Picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. Rudy Johnson used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Washington goes in motion. Washington catches it over the middle and gets past the markers for a first down. Kelly Washington faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. First down, 10 yards to go. Palmer sings it to the right side, and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Chad Johnson took his lone defender to school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Johnson takes it off the toss and gets past the line. Tackled at the 38. First down.
Rudy Johnson beat his man with a sweet little juke move back there. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. in behind the line of scrimmage. Robert Griffith not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. Another tackle, and it seems like we're always calling his name. What a hitting machine in the secondary. He's definitely carrying his weight back there. Second down, two receivers to the left. Lloyd tacks him way back at the 44. Orpheus Roy got the sack, but he was totally unblocked. You need to at least lay a hand on someone to slow him down a bit. That'll be his first sack of the game. Palmer gets some air under this pass, and it's bobbled and dropped incomplete. Pass interference, number 24. Robert Griffith draws a flag here from some aggressive coverage. He can't be that physical with a receiver and get away with it. Yeah, that's pass interference, all right. Good call. on the play. up first down. Rudy Johnson sticks close to the sidelines and racks up a bunch of yards. Then he goes out of bounds well past the markers, I might add. Yeah, he went for the whole enchilada on that play, and I'm not talking about those mini appetizer ones either. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. Great execution. Johnson had the carry on first down and gains about three yards. Johnson goes in motion. Seven. Warwick Holdman targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Third down, and they line up for their 11th play of the drive. short of the markers. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down, goal to goal.
Graham with a 21-yarder, and it's good. Shane Graham puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. That's his third field goal of the day, and giving your team nine points is nothing to sneeze at. Well, unless those nine points are covered by pollen. Watch it. Sorry, that makes no sense at all. All right. That. Sorry. There's the signal, and we're ready. Graham booms a beauty here. Davis downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Browns are down, but not out. They'll start this critical drive at their own 20-yard line. Garcia zips it to the left sideline, and it's knocked down at the line incomplete. Jeff Garcia is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 117 yards and two interceptions. Hyden catches it in the flat and loses yards on that one. There's no fuel left to the tank with the tackle. Down, down, down. I got through over here. <laughs> Garcia throws this on a rope and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Dennis Northcutt had some room on the outside on that play, but catching the ball was a different story. Incomplete. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. They've decided to go for it, and I got to tell you, unless they pull off a miracle here, they're really going to put their defense in a tight spot. This one falls incomplete, and they will turn the ball over on down. The Bengals are in control, but it's far from over. The offense comes out and will start this drive at the 20-yard line. Warwick goes in motion. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. like uh, yeah we've had an injury down on the field as soon as we hear anything we'll be sure to pass the information along to you third down the clock is stopped at 158 Take their first time up. Let's go Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Hey! 
Graham kicks from 37 yards out and has it sailed just left of the upright. Shane Graham misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. Missed that one, and maybe because, well, I am maybe because he's tired. Yeah. He's been getting a real workout today. He has, Dan, and perhaps more than they would like him to. They'd rather have touchdowns if they had an option. Of course. The Browns start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.50. Garcia throws a heater right sideline, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Terrell Roberts was with the receiver all the way back there on that deep corner route and interrupted the pass. Incomplete. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, one man down. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Third down, the clock is stopped at 1.43. Slides! The Browns will take a timeout. That's their second. This one falls incomplete, and they will turn the ball over on downs. Illegal, Illegal forward, forward pass, pass, number five, five offense. offense. Five Jeff Garcia was past the line of scrimmage on that play, which made the pass erupt. Whether the passer threw the ball after crossing the line of scrimmage. All right, what have you got? Okay, all right. When we watch this, Dan, let's see if he was past the line when he threw the ball. Watch as he releases the ball. Well, he looks behind the line to me, so I think they'll overturn this one. After, After review, review, the passer, passer was, was behind, behind the line, line of scrimmage at the time of the throw. throw. There, there is, is no, no penalty. penalty. First, First down, down Cincinnati. Cincinnati. He yeah. likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. All right, okay, here we go. Here we go. You know exactly what to do. Get the team focused. Get the team focused and get back out there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Randy, Randy, Randy. Hey, yo, I got him ready. I got him ready. Hey, I got nine. Down. Set. Three. 39. Yeah, rip, rip. Richardson lines up to punt after the three and out. Yeah. 
Richardson gets the snap and kicks what will be a short one. The Browns let it bounce out of bounds at the 11. Kyle Richardson did a good job angling the punt out of bounds, so the offense will start off stuck inside the 20. The Browns will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 7. Out to the left, and that's a gain of seven on the play. And that is going to do it for this one. The Bengals come out on top, 23 to 10. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN Video Games Post Game Show. I'm Chris Berman. The Bengals stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Sean Jones shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Touchdown for the Browns. The Browns climb back again and are now down by seven. The Bengals, after getting an interception, the ball at the 27. Chris Crocker was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Bengals winning by seven. Carson Palmer would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. They move ahead by 10. The Bengals have it again. Sean Jones would come up with the big play to kill a drive, as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Bengals out in front, 20 to 10. Nate Webster would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. After driving 60 yards on 11 plays, Shane Graham sets up for the little chip shot and this one is no problem. Connect for their third field goal and that's where we'll leave this one. Bengals win this one 23 to 10. Now let's check in with our player of the game. A guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Chad Johnson was kind enough to give us a moment of his time, and he's on the field with Susie Calder. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You really showed up today. And you helped your team put this game away. What do you think was the critical factor in getting the W? I have to give a lot of credit to our offensive line. Those guys often get overlooked, and they bring in every single game. I think that their hustle was a big part of us coming out on top. Chris, back to you. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time.